Your voice, your vote, and everyone who thought Herman Cain might be the latest 15-minute wonder got a shock with another new poll today. It shows Herman Cain continues to run in a statistical dead heat with Mitt Romney, who's been campaigning for years. Tonight, ABC's John Carl looks more closely at what polls show Republican voters are loving. The Cain surge continues. And over the weekend, Republican crowds were loving it. Stupid people are ruining America. The secret of Kane's appeal is the simplicity of his solutions. He's a hardliner who makes you laugh. I would bring a sense of humor to the White House because America is too uptight. It was the approach he used during his successful run as CEO of Godfather's Pizza. He shut down underperforming stores, but also serenaded pizza lovers. Imagine there's no pizza. I couldn't if I tried. Eating all the tacos. Oh, Kentucky Fried. Kane's greatest asset is his personal story. He grew up dirt poor in Atlanta, his mother a maid, his father a barber, chauffeur, and janitor. This is why I don't have a lot of si sympathy for people who believe that this country owes them something. Self-reliance is Kane's creed. Many years ago, he was refused a haircut in a whites-only barbershop. Ever since, Kane says, he's cut his own hair. Five years ago, Kane had stage four colon cancer and was given just 30% chance of surviving. After chemo and major surgery, he has been cancer-free since 2007. A miracle, he says. And with 999, we love it. His 999 plan has won him supporters and ridicule. How we fight terrorism? My 555 plan. <laughs> For every terrorist, America will send five airplanes, five soldiers, and five of those dogs that caught Osama bin Laden. <laughs> In another unconventional move for a Republican candidate, Kane's aides tell me he is going to make a direct appeal for African-American votes, unveiling a plan later this week to help the inner city poor, Diane, a plan I am told that will include tax rates even lower than 999.